France 24's senior reporter Catherine Norris Trent joins me now. Catherine, how's the turnout looking in the uh, French capital and its surroundings? Hi there, Yina. Uh, well, the turnout here at 5 p.m. in the greater Paris region, Ile-de-France, was even lower than the uh, national turnout. So it's standing here at 5 p.m. at 23.67%. So less than a quarter of voters having voted by 5 p.m. Um, and that is slightly up on what we saw in the first round, again, following that national trend somewhat, but it's way lower than results from 2015. If you look back at national results, the last regional elections in 2015, by 5 p.m., they were already over 50 percent. So this is continuing the trend, it looks like, to massive abstention. Turnout perhaps not on for a record low like last week, but certainly here another failure for the politicians who've been trying to get people to turn out in the weeks between these two rounds of voting. All the campaigners here in Paris have been calling on voters to come out and support them and it doesn't seem that they've done that so far. I've been speaking to people around the streets of Paris in different areas. Some of them had forgotten that the regional elections had already taken place. Other people saying they had been in to cast their votes as they saw it important but I found very little enthusiasm indeed on the streets. People saying that it just didn't seem that it was going to change anything about their lives. So worrying signs, perhaps, for the French political process with just 10 months to go until next year's presidential election. And, and Catherine, uh, little interest, but what is at stake for these elections? Well, it's really interesting because some people are trying to see them as a bit of a bellwether ahead of those presidential elections next year, which, of course, will decide whether Emmanuel Macron stays on for a second term or whether he gets kicked out. And it's particularly interesting at the moment for political watchers, if not the French public. And, of course, a lot of the French media, you can see here, gathered outside the headquarters of uh, the Conservative candidate, Valérie Pécresse, because the French political system has been shaken up entirely. Emmanuel Macron kind of broke down the traditional party voting lines here in France. And then, of course, you've had lots of talk about what the uh, national rally, formerly the National Front of Marine Le Pen, are going to do. And then there's the, the Greens. Can they get any kind of momentum? Can the left become united? Who will be the candidate for the right? And what's been happening here in Paris has been kind of a microcosm for the national situation overall. So very fragmented. And I think this is why people are really watching these elections so particularly carefully despite the very low turnout, which actually makes them not very a reliable indicator of how people could vote next year. And Catherine, very briefly, in the Greater Paris race, so you mentioned Valérie Pécresse, but who else is running? Yes, we've got Valérie Pécresse, who staked her political career, really, on these elections. Um, we've also got a, a, a candidate, of course, for the national rally of the Front National, Jordan Bardella, a young man, a rising star in their party. And then at the head of a green and left-wing socialist alliance, and with France unbowed, you've got Julien Bayou, who, who's managed to unite the left in Paris here for these elections. Big questions about whether that will be able to carry on uh, into the future. And you've got Emmanuel Macron, party, La République En Marche as well, standing, trying to get votes too. So it's a really, it is quite a fragmented political scene. All right. Thank you so much for that update. Catherine Norris-Trent reporting for us there in Paris.